One thing I don't get is King Charles. Like, why is Charles king? And I, I mean in that, like, why would he want to be king? And this strange thing that happened, I recall at some point when Prince Charles was a young fella, in his 20s, I believe. Like, he wasn't super young, but he was like pre-Diana Ch- Chucky. There's a photo, There's like this story of him when he went, he was in Perth for some reason, and he was frolicking on Cottesloe Beach, and some hussy came up to him and gave him a kiss. And, um, yeah, at that point in time, he was like the playboy prince and considered like, yeah, cute and had the world at his feet. And then maybe he's a little bit different because of his connection or like what happened with Diana. But I don't, I don't know that. What am I trying to fucking say here? I guess I'm trying to fucking say over time you become, you start to look more like a fucking royal, which doesn't help. When they're younger, they look kind of cute. These royals, are they, they look weird. They kind of look like strange, quaint toys or something, like mannequins when they're young. They don't look like real people, but they, they look kind of cute. And strange, but as they got older, they kind of look more decrepit and inbred. But it's kind of a, a case of like, this guy has seen people adore him and consider him to be a playboy prince. And then he went through all the turmoil with Diana. And then over time, they've just seen slowly people, your, your reputation gets tarnished and... I don't know. I just think that like being the head of a fucking, being the head of a family like that, it's a young person's game, I believe. You kind of got to get in when you're cute and impressionable so people forgive you for your mistakes. But coming in to be the fucking king when you're, how old is he? Like 70 something? People are like, look at your life, man. It wasn't that great. And he's just been waiting around for that for forever. So my, my solution, because, and the other point is that you're already seeing it with Prince William. So like, I didn't, I didn't get the full fucking Prince Charles arc because that was before I was born when he was young and handsome and everyone thought he was cool. I kind of started paying attention when he was with Diana and then that was the beginning of the end for his public reputation. But. I've seen the same thing happen with Prince William when he was young and cute and had hair and then everyone fucking fell in love with him because he liked seeing him and his brother at his mother's funeral, how heartbreaking that was. So that's like, not only was he young and cute and had hair, then he had like all the goodwill of like, oh, your mum died, but people are already turning on him. You know, the rumors that like uh, Kate can't fucking stand him and that he gets pegged. This is, by the way, someone... This is how fucking pervasive, pervasive the coverage and the rumor and innuendo around this fucking family is. Is that I assure you, I don't pay attention. I'm in my fucking groove. I'm in my dumb wormhole online. The comfy spot that I've sorted out for myself. And yet, I know about these things because... It's just so fucking overbearing that they sneak through in my fucking part of the internet. So already we're seeing people turn on fucking Prince William because he's, yeah, he's getting older. He's fucking bald as fuck. His wife looks better than he does. And all the shit that happened with Meghan, he's considered like, oh, you're you're not groovy, man. (laughs) Be like your redheaded brother, man. And, um... So you know what's going to happen to him one day as well. All the goodwill that people felt to him, felt towards him when his mum died is is going to be long gone by the time he becomes the fucking king. So anyway, here's the solution. Chucky, 
if you're listening, you need to have like a reality TV show for the younger crew, Kate, um, William, Harry, Megan, extend it, extend it to that. There was that half the 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 mid as the kids would call her, the Zara chick. The, the Fergie's kids with the dumb hats. Like, maybe you could cap it at 40 or something. I don't know how old Wills and Kate are. Yeah, they, they must be around 40. Under Any under 40 can participate, and it's like a reality TV show. It's like a fucking... It's a Big Brother type of thing. We The Royals... And they're just sitting around doing fucking survivor tasks and stuff like that. And then the public can vote. Because I think that would kind of modernize the fucking royal family. They could kind of self-referential stuff. You could have like... Um, I don't know. You could play like a who done it game. But instead of who, who killed... Like instead of a murder mystery party, it's like... Which underage kids did Prince Andrew rape? <laughs> Stuff like that, you know. I don't. What? What is? Uh, this is how I don't, I don't fucking know any of the stories. I, I didn't watch the fucking Crown. Checking the Royals watch the Crown. Probably. There's not that much on Netflix, right? You'd occasionally just be like, "Ah, eh, should we do it? Yeah, let's do it." Cricket more slick than a fucking home video. A lot of filler in fucking home videos. Have you noticed that? When you try and go back. I found some fucking old phones in Colombia and just... The mount... There's all these fucking cute baby photos which I want to keep. But just in mountains of shit. Doesn't help when you suck at photography, but... Um... Yeah, I reckon they watch The Crown every so often just to be like, it's quick. So anyway, Chuck... That's what you should be doing, man. Fuck this. It's my duty. It's what my mum would have wanted. Go enjoy. Be a fucking... Be a tampon in Camilla... Camilla's fucking snatch. For the rest of your days. Fuck the public. You don't owe them shit. Let one of these young ones do it. And just like your mother, they're going to build up all this goodwill because they were like, oh, she was very young when she became the monarch or he became the monarch. And it doesn't matter, like, it doesn't matter if it's the, the bloodline stuff. The best thing that your family could be doing, trust me on this, is to get some new blood in there. So fuck the original bloodline and all that stuff. That's for the birds, man. Get rid of that shit and, um, yeah, reality TV show. It's like Love Island crossed with Big Brother, some self-referential gags. Yeah, every, every fucking entertainer is a fucking royalty, royal family whore. Whenever someone gets stayed married for 50 years, the Silver Jubilee or whatever the fuck that is, how, how, however long you need to stay on the, on the throne for all those fucking big parties, every cunt... And his dog, Brian May, is there doing a solo. Everyone rocks up. So, if you did a show like this, it would be a ratings bonanza. Every, like, fucking Oasis would reform. Every fucking Britpop band would reform. You get, you get fucking everyone. The Beatles would come back together. You just have a fucking animated John and George and... It would be fucking huge, man. So, honestly, consider it. I've rebooted this podcast. Time to reboot the family, man. 